Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we have got uh, the semi-automatic crop farm, which works with wheat, carrots, potatoes, and beetroot, if you want beetroot, radish, radishes, radishes, I don't see why you want this many radishes, but yeah, this is a rather large design, so you get a really nice crop yield of about, I think it's about three, three and a half, four stacks per time, depending on what it is, I think this is the wheat. And you get plenty of seeds and so what you do is you um press it you flick this lever and then water will come gashing down knocking out all these it'll all flow into this chest here and then you can just get grab the seeds and replant it all and then it'll be nice and quick and yeah nice little cycle going uh and so what i've been waiting for as you see the water flows all the way down and all into that hopper there. And they do see that you might get a few going here and if this is that much of an issue you can just raise this by half a slab. Uh, but yeah, so what you're going to need to build this farm is one chest, one hopper, one redstone repeater, one redstone torch, about a stack of redstone, give or take a few. Uh, about two stacks, at least, of your favourite block, possibly three or four, block of choice. Uh, and then you want th at least three stacks of dirt, maybe more, maybe less. It's around that, I'm presuming that you don't need to be too accurate with your presumptions. Um, the one block of glass, or one lever, two stone brick slabs, or whatever slab you want, preferably the one that matches these blocks, uh, six pistons, and a bucket and access to an infinite water source and now that that is all done and out of the way let's get building so the first step is you want to take your dirt and you want to place it three blocks wide like so and then you want to take it seven blocks more back so that it is eight blocks long Okay, and then the next step is that you want to take this upper block and then you want to go back six more from this block. And the next step is to place a block here, do that, and then again the same length as this one, you want to take it back from here another six blocks. Okay, and now you're gonna have to leave, you're gonna need to leave one block gap in the middle, like so, uh, and then mirror this on the other side. Okay, and then the next step is you want to place a block here, like so, uh, and then you want to place a block. Here, all along this bottom row like so and then you want to take this up a block you can break that one and you want to have this all flowing like that then you want to place your block up like there then place a water bucket so that flows just to the end but you want to cut this off place another water bucket and then you want to cut this off and then you want to place a final water bucket. <clears throat> you can have it going the whole way down, but I find that if you cut it off at each point, then it means that you can walk up the center of the farm, so it's easier to replant the seeds. The next step is to place your stone bricks, or whatever block you would like, across all the top of here, uh, and then you want to go a block like that, and then you want to place one of your slabs there. And then you want to do the same as you go further up. So you go like this, up here, and then place your second slab up there, like so. Okay, and then your next step is that you want to take some dirt or whatever block you want, like this. So it's up like so. It takes it down a little bit. And then you want to go here, and then you want to place all of your pistons, your six pistons, down across here, like so. And you can leave a gap in the middle where the water stream is. Okay, and then your next step is you want to place a line of blocks behind here, like so. Then you want to grab your redstone dust. And you want to place it along the top, like so. 
and then you want to take it down a block and then across one more and then now you can take it all the way down here but mirroring where the uh, dirt sections are so like here and then you go down block like that and then you can link this off so you want to place redstone all along here placing your redstone repeater about here get these along here and coy blocks up until the edge like that and then what you want to do here is you want to place your block and then your redstone torch so that is powered you want to turn this around so that is like that so those are constantly extended uh, and then make your dust all along here and then you want to place a block like that go down and then you can place your lever you can place it there and alternatively you can take this down some more blocks so that this is a more of an accessible place okay then the next step is you want to take these blocks again and encase all of this back side like so make sure you've got sides in as well along like there and in there and then in these back spaces if i quickly flip our lever you want to place all of your water or some of your water place some blocks like there uh and then you want to go wash 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 and it's going to leak out the side at the minute but we can cover that up in just a minute so now that is all covered up and then what we want to do is we want to make our collection system so that when all of this runs down it'll run down into a water stream then with a hopper at the end which then flows into our chest so chest goes there and your hopper goes there and then you want to place your block of glass on top of here on top of the chest so that the items don't flow on top of the chest and you're losing some of your crop okay now what you want to go ahead and do is place blocks at the front like this and you can go up to here two blocks so that it all definitely flows into here and then in. Now all you need to do is wrap this around two blocks high from where the dirt is on each side uh, to make sure that nothing falls out. Right guys, and there we have it. This is your farm completely finished. Now all you need to do is take your netherite hoe, whatever hoe you want, and hoe all this in, and then plant in your seeds. And it is all good to go. You can also encase all of this side in if you do wish, so that it's not as ugly. And <clears throat> yeah, that's basically it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, what language do we go today? Let's go, let's go Spanish. So I say, Goodbye to all of my seniors and senoritas out there and adios.